Hey, it's Dr. Selfridge. We're going to learn how to put the reed on your clarinet mouthpiece. So first we open the case. We make sure it's on a flat surface facing right side up. We don't want to open it upside down. Open up the lid. First thing you do is take out your reed and put it in your mouth. That's right. You put the reed in your mouth, not the whole thing, just the thin end of the reed in your mouth up to the point where the reed isn't shaved. You see the bark there. You can also put your reed in a small cup of water. That's what oboe and bassoon players do, so you could do that. Next, we'll pick up the mouthpiece, take off the mouthpiece cap, and then slide off the ligature. You might need to loosen the screws and put those to the side. Now we just have the plain mouthpiece and we're going to connect it to the barrel. There is a wide end of the barrel, which is too big. It doesn't fit right. And then you turn it around and there's a more narrow end and that fits together nice and snugly with your mouthpiece. Firm pressure, back and forth twisting motion, and they go together. If your mouthpiece cork is really new and it's really hard to put together your mouthpiece and your barrel, we have cork grease. And you just take your cork grease and apply it to the cork like it, you're putting on chapstick. Although this isn't chapstick, don't put it on your lips. And then just rub it in and they're easier to put together. At this point, we normally would put together the rest of the pieces of our clarinet, but for now, let's just stick with our mouthpiece and barrel. So hold the mouthpiece and barrel in your left hand with the hole of the mouthpiece facing up towards you. That hole in the mouthpiece is called the window. Take the ligature, it's this thing with the screws, and just like the barrel, there's a narrow end and a wide end. So in this case, we want the wider end to go on first, and it fits over the mouthpiece just like that. There's a front and a back side to your reed. The front side of the reed has a taper to it, so it goes up and down, and the back of your reed is flat like a table. Now this next part is a little tricky, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. You take the reed, hold it with the bark facing towards you, and you slide it down between the mouthpiece and the ligature, like you're strapping it into a roller coaster car. This takes some practice, but you use your fingers and your thumbs to shimmy the reed back and forth into place. There are two important things you're going for. The tip of the reed is perfectly aligned with the top of the mouthpiece, and also we want the screws of the ligature to be centered on top of the bark of the reed. So to achieve this, you might need to slightly loosen the screws and push it down. When the ligature looks just like this, tighten the screws to keep it in place. Tighten them just enough so they're snugly in place. You don't need to go super tight. And that's it. You are now ready to play a note on your clarinet. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now go practice.